Howdy! This video was requested by Alex Lemons. Alex, this one's for you. And if any of you viewers have any figures you would like for me to review, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I'll also leave a link to my collection in the description. So, thank you in advance for watching. You have yourselves a great day and enjoy. Good eye, mates. Today we're taking a look at this crocodile. Ain't she a beauty? Anyways, these crocodiles are very, very dangerous, so whatever you do, do not attempt to do what I do. Now remember, these creatures, though beautiful, are very deadly. Just look at the size of this beauty's face. That mouth is so big, it can rip you in half. I'm a man. Bloody hell, mate. This thing can speak. I'm out of here. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Where are you going? Oh, come on, can't we be friends? Oh, my. Well, that's just rude. Hey, what up everyone? DredgeX97 here. How y'all doing today? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Beast Wars. Maximal vs. Predacon, Optimus Prime vs. Megatron 2-Pack, Batman, and Crocodile. Or Croc Rock, or... Bebop and Rocksteady, I don't know. Crocksteady, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here we have the cause of Corona, and here we have everyone's favorite rubbery shoe. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out of jokes and ideas. Anyways, I was asked to review this Crocodile Megatron alongside some of the other Beast Wars characters, which I think I'm just going to call Beast Week. Uh, just, just so I can upload new videos, I guess. Um... Anyways, because of the, not the quarantine, because I had to work through that, because of the snowstorm we're having, I'm not going to be at work for a couple of days, so might as well get these reviews out of the way. Um, these figures were originally supposed to be Megatron Optimus, y'all know the rest. One got turned into a gorilla, and the other one got turned into a T-Rex. Yes, which definitely puts a smile on this Megatron's face. Oh, yes it do. But... Yeah, uh, they are basic class figures, which I'm so glad they got upscaled to uh, the ultra class figures they became, uh, which is more becoming of the leader, because only Napoleon is allowed to be the shortest leader in existence. <laughs> as far as scout class figures, they're not bad. Um, they're definitely small. And here's a size comparison with them and their subordinates. Uh, yeah, I'm glad Optimus got turned into a gorilla because I can't see Rat Trap being bigger than his leader. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, this is a nice, fun little setup. So, um, let's get to transformation, shall we? And because they're basic figures, their transformations are more basic than a white trick drinking Starbucks coffee and Ugg boots in the wintertime. Oh, and did I mention doing all that while using their iPhone? <laughs> uh... Anyway, so on to transformation real quick articulation. He also has a mouth that can open like So you can use echolocation and you can kind of oh, well, You can kind of articulate Megatron's tail up and down But that just normally sets off the transformation and he has some front leg articulation But I've never seen a crocodile with legs that long before <laughs> So let's get on to transformation like I said you just flip up the tail then you flip down the feet, flip in the croc legs, and flip up the hands, I guess, flip out the hands. And boom, you got Crocodile Megatron in his robot mode. And he is quite tiny, as you could tell. Uh, as far as weapons go, he has this tail gun, which you just simply flip out. And boom, you can have it over the shoulder, or... Oh, I'm surprised that still works. You can plug it into his hand, and there you go. The gun detail is pretty nice. Uh, I mean, for a toy that's essentially older than me, it's not bad. It's got a blaster indent into it, and that's pretty much all you need. That's all people needed back then. Back in the 90s, you had to use your imagination, okay? Unlike nowadays, where they got weapon specs for all the guys. And then Optimus Prime, much... Come on, focus, focus. Much similar to Megatron, you flip up the tail and he just auto-morphs out. 
Now, unfortunately, my version, oops, my version of the figure has a pin missing, which keeps the arm in place, so that kind of sucks. You can also see, oh my gosh, 1995 is when this guy was patented. This guy, ooh, this toy's two years older than me, because I was born in 97. That's, that's scary, or no, no, pen for 95 came out in 96. Something like that. I don't know how pens and trademarks work. But anyways, this this toy's older than me, and I should probably buy it a drink, okay? I grew up with these two figures. I'm surprised they're not destroyed. Um, but after that pin came out, I, when I was a kid, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and not play with the Beast Wars characters. Though they're a lot of fun, they can break. Um, but yeah, here they are in their robot modes. Uh, they're not the most stable because they have very loose ankle joints and I don't know if you know this about ankles But you need them to stand and if they're loose they you can't stand properly So yeah, their robot modes are nicely date Detailed nicely detailed Megatron has on this cool crocodile scale effects going on He has a G very G2 inspired helmet with a purple face and then I'm really digging this detail, like uh, crocodile teeth or maybe bullets, like he's a hunter in the outback. But yeah, this guy has been my favorite compared to Optimus here, just because I like crocodiles more than I like bats. And it's this guy's fault that we've had the pandemic, thanks a lot. Stupid bats. But anywho, yeah, here they are in their robot mode. It's articulation, ball joint in the shoulder, elbow hip knee and then an ankle tilt and they both have the same amount of articulation head is also on a ball joint uh primes is a bit more limited because of the way the ball joint is situation <clears throat> is situated he can mostly barely nod up and down but he can look left and right so essentially his head is on a swivel but megatron has nice downward look he can look right into himself Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again And, you know, look around. So, there's all that. So let's get to comparison, shall we? And then here's a comparison between them and some of their Maximals and Predacons. Um, the hardest part about setting this up, these two, they suck at standing. They... Trap has like no balance because the way he's designed, he leans forward at his feet, but also not too much forward because the huge backpack. So instead of a uh, rat trap, he should have been called Pack Rat because he has such a big backpack. And then his ankles are so loose, he keeps falling over. So yeah, it's a good thing they were a monkey and T Rex. Because this would have looked so weird if Tarantulas was towering over Megatron. Tarantulas, follow my orders. No, Megatron, you will be following mine. <laughs> It'll be something like that. Uh, oh yeah, one more comparison. And then here they are compared to their final forms. <clears throat> Until you watch Beast Machines. Uh, but yeah, they are definitely much better suited as monkey truck and draconis or anyways um yeah so that's my review on the two are they worth your while i mean maybe um they're definitely fun little figures uh if you don't plan on standing them up if you're like me as a kid and you're just ah, psh, 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 you know, you didn't really stand them up, but if you're collecting, you're like, yeah, I want them to stay on a shelf for the next 12 years. You'll, you'll have to deal with a lot of falling over. Um, I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish I filmed myself just trying to stand them up, because these guys kept falling over. It's, yeah, there's a lot of that. There, there's a lot of him falling over, and you should be sad. Stop smiling. You can't be happy, because you've fallen and you can't get up. Anyways... If you want to buy them, I mean, you can. Don't spend too much money on them. They're not bad figures, by any means. They're not terrible. They're not great. But have I had fun with them over the past decade and a half I've owned them? Yeah. Yeah, I have. 
And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So, thank you all so much for watching. Washing, yeah. Please wash your hands. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. You all have yourselves a great day. God bless and peace out. I'll be seeing you all next time. Adios.